Sensory motor amnesia. The movements we'll be doing address a condition called sensory motor amnesia. It is a memory loss of how certain muscle groups feel and how we can control them. Because sensory motor amnesia occurs within the subcortical part of the brain, we are not aware of it, yet it affects us to our very core. Our image of who we are, what we can experience, what we can do, is profoundly diminished by sensory motor amnesia. It is a learned adaptive response. It can be unlearned. Sensory motor amnesia can be overcome by education. An internal process needs to occur whereby new sensory information is introduced into the sensory motor feedback loop, allowing the motor neurons of the voluntary part of the brain to once again fully control the musculature. The movements we do facilitate just that, assisting the sensory motor system to unlearn what has been learned and to remember what has been forgotten. Awareness and Attitude To obtain the optimum benefits from these movements, please keep in mind the following. As Carol illustrates these movements, she merely intends to serve as an image for conveying kinesthetic information. This learning situation focuses attention on cultivating refined awareness. This is a program of training in personal sensory awareness and motor control, and the qualities of listening and clarification are the qualities which make the difference between exercise and learning. We are educating our continuing awareness. Some of the movements we will be employing will involve a strong voluntary contraction and a slow controlled release. However, please do not force the movements. Be sensitive to the amount of effort you are exerting. Emphasis is on the quality of both movement and awareness. The movements need to be done slowly unless otherwise indicated. As you observe your own way of doing various movements, you may become aware of tendencies in yourself which determine not only how you move, but how you approach life in general. Work slowly and carefully, tuning into your body here and now. Feel everything you are doing from the inside and make adjustments constantly. The intent is to make the body feel right on the inside. Behind every external movement, there are internal sensations. Only you know to what degree you are capable of being involved in any movement. Please think for yourself and take care of yourself. Start out with small cautious movements that are done slowly and attentively. Take time to adjust to the movement. As we go through these movements, we are able to evaluate the amount of control we have over the motor system. Learn to listen to your body. Never force it to do more than it wants to do. Is there reluctance or readiness in the system to allow for combined movements? The more focused you are in the moment, the more responsive your body will be to these movements. Be committed to the present moment, focusing in on what you are doing moment to moment. Mastery of the body lies in concentration. Enjoy the process. Moving slow means really wanting to feel. Every person is able to grow and become more aware of their body. Everyone has the capacity to fine-tune and self-direct their body. <laughs>